What's going on everybody? Robinson DUP. It's one of those uh, one of my well-known car vlogs. <laughs> anyway, it's Saturday morning. I wanted to start getting in a routine of shooting videos again, especially on the weekends when I have time during the drive. Um, it's about, oof, feels like it's 18 degrees outside. But I'm on my way to uh, Pure Focus to get a squat and deadlift session in. I've actually been uh, experimenting with sumo squats on the weekends just to get a feel for them. Um, you know, just messing around with different um, ranges of motion. So, anyway, the whole point of this video, um, I know while I was gone, I've been getting a lot of comments on my old videos. Uh, I've been watching Jason Blaha and um, Mark Lobliner and, and uh, Jerry Ward all kind of talk about the whole, the whole netty bodybuilding conversation, which never ever seems to go away. Um, I, I don't know why people keep harping on this. Listen, unfortunately, there are a lot of liars out there, okay? And they're never going to admit that they're on drugs because it would be stupid for them to do so. Um, they have sponsorship contracts, they have a lot of money coming in, they compete in the IFBB, um, things like that. And admitting to illegal drug use on camera, you've got to be a special kind of stupid to want to do that because you're putting that out in front of, in, in front of people where it may cost you your potential job, um, you know, and law enforcement could come looking for you. So that's what the reality is. Um, I think people need to open their eyes and just wake the hell up and start realizing that, you know, when you see guys who are 270 pounds and shredded, like in the IFBB, um, they're not natural, okay? Stop asking them. It's pretty blatantly obvious. Um, if you really think that Mr. Olympia is a natural, you're a moron, okay? Um, Arnold Schwarzenegger admitted to steroid use. We know they're not natural. But let's just get into a deeper part of this conversation. I think the reason why this keeps coming up... Uh, well, one, you know, people are getting fed up with liars. I, I can understand that. But there, there's an undertone here that's really what the main cause of this whole conversation is. You're looking for an excuse why you don't look the way you want to look. That That's the honest... Um, undertone that's going under this whole conversation so and the reason why I know this is because I constantly get comments on videos where I wasn't even relevant for a year where I had either was in contest prep or was just coming out where I was really really lean okay so when I was on stage I was 171 pounds and at certain points I was made like 180 so I looked really really lean and when I lift I get good pumps, especially in my upper body, in my arms and my shoulders. So you see a lot of striations and you see a lot of vascularity. That wasn't filter, that wasn't photoshopping, that's what I look like. Um, and if you go on my Instagram, I might do some like, you know, messing with the lighting, but I don't photoshop any of my shit. Like if you saw me in person, you would see the same striations in my chest that you saw on camera. Alright? So anything that I've ever posted on an Instagram hasn't been manipulated to the point where I don't look that way. It's exactly how I look. I just manipulate the lighting a little bit and maybe the shading so you can actually see it because it won't show up in some of the, in the, the lights that I'm under. And I'll be openly and honest about that. I don't care. Um, but if you saw me doing cable flies, and I've actually done a video, uh, short videos on Instagram as well, where if you see me do cable flies, you'll see the striations in my chest to this day, as of right now. Um, but that's besides the point. Let's get back to the natural bodybuilding conversation. There are natural bodybuilders. Now, if you're one of those fucking schmucks, pardon my language here, that is going to be like, oh, well, you take creatine, you're not natural. Well, you take um, protein shakes, you're not natural. Okay, you're an idiot. I'm not going to waste my time talking to you. But for the rest, it, by the way, if anybody thinks taking whey protein makes you not natural or you need to cycle it, you're, you're an idiot, okay? Whoever's telling you that, just don't listen to them. They're a moron. Um, and they're, com they're just, I don't know what else to say about that. You're just stupid if you think whey protein makes you not natural, okay? But anyway, um, you know, you guys have to come to the realization that even if you did take steroids, you're not going to look like Mr. Olympia, okay? I know plenty of guys who have done a cycle, um, done several cycles, who are currently doing cycles, and I look better than them now, okay? And that's without taking drugs. Taking drugs does not excuse the fact that you don't train hard enough. It does not excuse the fact that you eat like crap and do not follow a nutritional plan whatsoever. It doesn't replace the lack of hard work, okay? Will it help you get bigger faster? Sure, if you're putting the time in. Will it help you get bigger faster if you're following a right, you know, correct nutrition plan? Absolutely, 
Okay, will it help you recover faster? Absolutely. Um, will it help you keep your protein synthesis peaked even when you're not working a body part better than a natural can? Absolutely. But it's not going to make you look better just by taking them. Okay? I know plenty of guys who take steroids, they look like crap, they don't look any good. Um, you can tell that they're muscular, but they're so fat it doesn't even matter. The steroids are not going to cure that problem. Trying to get somebody to admit that they're taking steroids is a complete and utter waste of time. And then the best part is, even if you do have a natural, like myself, you're going to be able to like, oh, well, you know how to pass the drug test, oh, you, you get off before you get tested, or you know when you're getting tested, or you know how to do this, you know how to do that. So the conversation is utterly useless. For those of you who actually have a brain in your head, okay, and aren't so cynical about everything, because that's, you know, unfortunately, you know, I can spend the next 30 years being a natural bodybuilder, I can take a drug test every day and pass it. All you're going to need is somebody like Jason Blaha to tell us, to say, well, he could beat that, and nothing against Jason Blaha, okay, I'm just making a point here. Um, Jason Blaha can say, well, I know, I can tell you exactly how Robinson beat that drug test every day. Now, I didn't do that, but if he says that, it automatically puts that seed of doubt in somebody's head, and they're going to believe what they want to believe. See, that's the problem with society. We're more likely to believe to be guilty than we are to believe to be innocent. And I can understand, due to some of the things that have happened in society with a bunch of liars like Lance Armstrong, for instance, um, and many others who have lied and then gotten caught and busted legitimately, that it's hard to believe anyone. So, why are we having this useless conversation? Here's my thing. If you believe that you could achieve you know, uh, a great physique and you want to idolize or, or have respect for people like Dana Lynn Bailey or you want to idolize and have respect for the work ethic of someone like Phil Heath or Kai Greene or you want to idolize or respect the work ethic of you know, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger at, at his prime or you want to idolize and respect Doug Miller or whoever else, okay, Mark Lobliner then idolize and respect them and work as hard as they do. Whether they take drugs or not really doesn't matter. It has no bearing on your life. What matters is that you're going to put the time... Like, here's what I understand. and I've always... I'm never going to look like Phil Heath. I don't care, but I respect the crap out of the guy. I'm going to, I respect Kai Green because of his work ethic, regardless of some of the personal choices he may have made that are kind of stupid. Okay? I respect the work ethic that these guys have put in, and girls for that matter. Drugs or no drugs has no bearing on anything. It really doesn't. In this entire conversation, it's a waste of a conversation. My opinion is this. If you strive to, like, like I look up to Doug Miller and Mark Lobliner and, and some other people, okay? If I work as hard as they do and I don't make any excuses about it, I put my nutrition on point, and forget the whole supplement issue, but if I keep my nutrition on point and I work really, really, really hard and I strive to be like them, I will exceed any expectations of where I thought I could have been. That's how I look at it. Okay? If I don't become 250 pounds of solid muscle with abs, that's not failure to me. However, if I end up being 195 to 200 pounds with a hell of a physique on me and I'm still relatively lean, that's because I didn't make any excuses and I didn't worry about what my genetic limitation was. So therefore, I exceeded what my expectation was going to be. And that's where you guys need to, to understand, and that's where your mindset needs to be. Stop looking for freaking excuses to brush off what people have accomplished. Period. Period. If you think supplements are a waste of time, then don't buy them. And by the way, the majority of them are. They're not going to put on 10 to 15 pounds or 20 pounds of muscle on you. That's not what they're designed to do. They're designed to help in recovery, which is not going to, you know, may just take a day off of recovery, maybe. Maybe give you a 1% re return on what you're using them for. And most of them are just like broken up food in powder form. That's all they are. Okay? So, if you don't want to spend $80 on a test booster, then don't. I recommend that you don't because they're not. it's not worth it. The rate of return that you're getting on taking a test booster isn't there. Okay? Which protein shake you take doesn't matter. Really, it doesn't. As long as it's a quality way and you're getting the what you paid for and then the company's not cutting corners, then who cares? The negotiation is now about taste, really is what it's about. What flavors do they offer and am I willing to pay the price? It's price point and taste. 
stop with the whole natty conversation. In before I know I'm gonna get like a thousand comments, fake natty, you're not natty, trend clen, and all you guys use these big words that most of you, trust me, besides knowing the name, you don't even know what they mean or what they do because I'm around the bodybuilding world and I know the name and I have wasted one second trying to figure out what they do. I don't care. But anyway, the whole conversation's pointless. Um, you're wasting your time. If you're stupid enough to, to spend you know $700 on duck eggs from Mike O'Hearn, then you deserve what you get. Um, you're gullible, and this is not the only area in life that you're gullible in, so sorry guys. Um, this conversation should just be over. All right, I'll talk to you later.